Hey Scorpio, welcome to your general November 2020 reading. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. To all my subscribers, thank you for your continued support. So this is just a general quick read for the month of November. Okay, so we can either pick up general love, general life, whatever message that would come out, okay? Scorpio for November of 2020. This is Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Ten of Cups. Mm -hmm. The Eight of Pentacles and the High Priestess. Chariot. Four of Cups. The Two of Swords. The King of Swords. The Knight of Cups. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Cups. <sighs> Scorpio. Okay, so in um, the way I see it here, Scorpio is more about. Okay. There is an energy here of you um, making decisions, uh, heading towards a direction based on what feels right for you. Yeah, and I feel that that is still what you're doing right now, which which is not bad. Yeah, you are just doing what feels right. Yeah, whether whether it be um, known to people or not, but you're you're more um, focusing on on what feels right yeah even if some people may feel that that is not the right thing to do but who cares yeah because to you that's the direction that you want to go yeah that's the direction that you want to go and by doing so i feel that you are you're kind of faced with a lot of good stuff around you yeah a lot of options a lot of um beautiful things a lot of um perhaps even enticing opportunities around you yeah and in the, in the recent past i feel that um this is you getting into i mean this is you in a phase of uh just being happy yeah in in, in the recent past you're happy you're in love you feel loved or, or that if you're in a love connection, this is you um, feeling that the love that you wanted has been transformed beautifully even, yeah? For some, this could even be finding that love that you want, getting that offer that you want, yeah? In the present moment, I feel that um, you're open for collaboration, you're, work, you're open to put an effort into this loving thing that you have, <laughs> despite the fact that there are a lot of other things that you may be taking care, caring of, there is this um, energy for you that you're opening up to putting effort into things that are easy on the heart, yeah? That makes you feel good, makes you happy, you're there, yeah? In the immediate future, this is you knowing, yeah? What's the best option there is for you, okay? Perhaps now you are in a situation where, like I said, a lot of options, a lot of opportunities around you, and there may be some creative endeavor that you're working on right now or you're pursuing that is making you feel happy, that's good. You're putting effort into that. But in the near future, you'll get this um, beautiful, um sense of knowing yeah on what really is good for you for your heart for your mind for your soul yeah the energies around you um yeah at least maybe for the moment there is no um direct direction or like that decision making in terms of um what truly is the best option at least at the present moment yeah, because I feel you're you're just sitting on you're sitting in this energy of acceptance of being receptive, being receptive to to the good stuff 
to all the energies that are being presented to you. Yeah. This could also um, you um, not really making a, a decision towards something that you need to. Yeah, so that's a, that, that's a tricky part here. It feels so nice um, overall. It f feels so good overall in terms of you moving forward or, or spending your time, energy into something that is lighthearted, something that makes you happy as of the moment, even though you are not possibly 100% into it. But things are moving, yeah? You just don't know yet where this direction is heading towards but soon enough you will as of the present moment there's just there's that tiny bit that um you may be moving forward right now but it's pretty uh moving forward but not in a or or let's just say you are currently working on an endeavor but um, in a slower pace than you could be yeah there's that um perhaps the uh the pacing is slower than what you could have been yeah primarily because like i said you know you're taking you're probably taking it as it comes um you know scorpio if you put your 100% into something which you very well know that once you are passionate towards something you put your 100% into it you're going to get what you want fast quick and easy and deep yeah but here i see that there there seem to be a lot of um, good opportunities around you and you are putting effort into things that are making you happy or slightly happy but you are not really putting your hundred percent and therefore although it is progressing it is not progressing as fast as they should you may not be putting a lot of focus into it. You may not be making the primary decisions yeah, into things. Yeah? It could go in your passionate endeavor, in your career, in your business, or even in love. Yeah? There's that lack of um, possibly full attention of a Scorpio. Yeah? What needs to come out here, Scorpio, is that element of you of... Um, getting into a space of knowing yeah your blueprint for this lovable thing that you have yeah knowing that blueprint strategizing um speaking your truth even If this is a, a new business, a new endeavor that you're doing, um, instead of letting the decisions be done by, let's say, your your staff or your other people within the team, be that driver, be the king of swords who who plans and who's you know schedules the the pace, yeah. And you can only do that if you put in sort of a a full attention into it. Yeah, rather than the haphazard attention because once that's being brought out yeah this speed right here could bring you that beautiful emotional satisfaction as quickly as possible yeah as quickly as possible but the lack of attention here or possibly less attention is causing you the the slower speed yeah instead of you really like jetting off and um jetting off to success there is that option, uh, I mean, there is that opportunity to choose what you feel is the best and then put more effort into it, yeah? What feels right in all ch chakras, what feels right in all angles, not just in your head, not just in your heart, but what feels right and what is in alignment to what you truly believe, yeah? Because once you really um, strategize things and, and, and put effort into it, you're going to get that emotional um, fulfillment and offer. All right, let me know in the comment section below if this resonates. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe. If this doesn't resonate, you can check out your other placements and especially about love connections. 
I have tons of readings in my channel that um, you will enjoy. Speak soon.